Doug Peterson is the new head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. We have an offensive-minded, Super Bowl-winning head coach teaming up with a national championship quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. I think some of the things that we saw Doug Peterson call throughout the Super Bowl 52 run and the things that he called in Jalen Hurts first start in the NFL could find kind of a middle ground in Jacksonville with Trevor Lawrence. So here's a breakdown via Madden 22. I am your boy Five Wars Deke. This is on the PS4, but if you subscribe and keep watching my videos, I could get, I could end up with a PS5. So I, I'd appreciate all the love that you want to give me. All right, let's do this breakdown. So one of the things that Doug Peterson liked to call with Jalen Hurts was the play action bootlegs, the rollout with one option. Of course, there's multiple guys running routes here, but ultimately there's just one guy for the quarterback to focus on. So right here, it's O'Shaughnessy coming across the formation and he is wide open. Plays like this get young quarterbacks, inexperienced quarterbacks in rhythm because once a quarterback gets in rhythm, it's hard to stop them. So no matter how many times you call this, O'Shaughnessy is wide open. Can't do anything about it. So here we are back in 12 personnel, but this time we have the tight ends on the other side of the field and it's Arnold running the flat route. And it's the same thing. Play action bootleg, one option, just look for Arnold. And once Arnold is open, you give him the ball. Right here, you see it work. And then we're gonna run it one more time because again, no matter how many times you run it, your tight end is gonna be open. This time he peels off the block, he's open, and it's there. Now, you do get situations where plays break down and that's where I think Trevor Lawrence can really shine under Doug Peterson. So right there, Arnold's not open and Lawrence drops the ball in the bucket. He can do that. He can really do that. So these play action bootlegs, the rollouts, they aren't, there aren't really a lot of rollout plays in Madden. Actually, there's not much of them at all. They're really in 2K5, but they work for Doug Peterson. He doesn't always need play action to get receivers open though. So something he did in Super Bowl 52, bunch formation with a receiver running a zig route and telling Nick Foles, watch this guy. So right here, I've got Chark running a zig route out of the bunch formation. And as long as Chark wins his route, it's money. This goes for a Jacksonville touchdown. Let's run it one more time. Big river, big river. As you can see, it's pretty easy. You just tell Trevor Lawrence to focus on one guy, you get him in rhythm. And once the quarterback is in rhythm, Peterson looks at his guys and says, go make a throw. I'm gonna spread the offense out. I'll put four to five receivers on the field. I'll spread out that defense. I just need you to find the open guy and make a good throw. Go watch Super Bowl 52 and look how Nick Foles once he was in rhythm, started making some really good throws, like the one to Alshon Jeffrey. Like, those are some really good throws. Trevor Lawrence, remember, second most passing yards in the NFL among rookies in 2021. Yes, he had the most interceptions, but I think he'll improve. I think Trevor Lawrence has a high ceiling and potential, 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 potential. Seriously, and Doug Peterson might be the perfect head coach for him to develop. And then the read option, something we saw Jalen Hurts run a lot with the Eagles under Doug Peterson, this read option. Now, Trevor Lawrence, not as athletic, not as fast as Jalen Hurts, but he got some legs on him, okay? Finished in the top 10 among quarterbacks for rushing yards in 2021. He's not a super dangerous runner, but you do have to account for him because once he gets going, he could pop you for about a 10, 15 yard gain, and then what you gonna do, right? So something we saw the Saints fall for against the Eagles and Jalen Hart's first start is the read option. They never knew what was coming because they had to respect Hurts' athleticism and then Miles Sanders messed them up. And then of course the RPOs. Doug Peterson loves his RPOs. Fun fact, less than 10% of the plays called in Super Bowl 52 were RPOs. But right here you see RPO after RPO after RPO and then boom, a run play. Why? Because Doug Peterson's offense at its best makes defenses confused because they don't know what's coming. The run plays look like RPOs and the play action pass plays look like run plays. Defenses legitimately have no idea what's coming because they think it might be one thing and it's the actual opposite. So if, if Doug Peterson can get Trevor Lawrence in a rhythm and the offense can really get going, this could actually be a really good offense in the NFL in 2022. I say look out for that. Trevor Lawrence has a high ceiling. You get a smart guy like Doug Peterson. You get him in rhythm with these one receiver throws. Who knows, man? Who knows? And remember, Trevor Lawrence, really good in college. Timely, accurate, and can drop balls in a bucket. All right, hope this breakdown made some sense. It's just a couple of things that I think Doug Peterson can do with a guy like Trevor Lawrence as his quarterback. So. I hope Jacksonville has an exciting offense. I'm looking forward to watching them. All right, subscribe if you enjoyed this breakdown. More video game content coming your way. It's your boy Five Horse D. One love.